Hi, since a lot of students ask, ask me about where do I teach, like how can they attend my physical class, uh, I, I mean my tuition class, not the online class. So this year I decided to like officially uh, open a tuition class in Cheras, somewhere near, nearby Permaisuri to teach the Form 5 students. So I actually give a title of the class, something like intensive uh, MF class for Form 5 students. So, so this class is only for those students who, who are having SPM exam this year. So like most of the tuition center, my class is like, it will be two hour for each class and then it will be once a week. So here is like how I allocate my two hour. So ba basically my class, I will have about 30 minutes for lecturing and then for 60 minutes is about to give you a practice and then 30 minutes we will discuss about the K-Bud K questions. So for the lecturing over here, I actually will teach, uh, I will tell you about all the knowledge you need to know about that topic and at the same time, at the same time, I will give you a few examples I think is important and then we will discuss on those examples before I give you a do a practice. So, so when you start to do the practice over here, when you start to do the practice, practice over here, I will make sure I give you quite a lot of questions which can, which is sufficient for 60 minutes because some students can do very fast but some students can, uh, will do quite quite slow. So I will give uh, quite a lot of questions to make sure it's sufficient and then I will make sure this question I, I give to you is like different type of question because in MF, they're so important to actually look through all the different type of questions in order to really score well in MF. So yeah, practice is like one of the most important criteria in MF. So I will make sure I give you a lot of questions. And then another 30 minutes, we will discuss about few k -Bud questions, uh, which, which uh, k -Bud actually is stand, stand for higher order thinking skill question, which is a very difficult question. But I want to say something over here is, if for those very long topics, you need to do a lot of practice, sometimes I will skip the k but question until the next classes because, because before you go into k but I will want to make sure you actually you can understand most of the important questions before I actually like go into k but So I will give, I, I, I will actually give you to do, make sure you already can answer all the important question, then we will discuss about the K-Bud and then we will go through together. We will go through the K-Bud question together. All right. And then if you are interested to join my class, there's few criteria I hope you actually have before you come into my class. The first criteria over here is like, you never pass your MF or you like, you just score D, you never get C in your MF. Because I want to make sure my class is like, all the students is like same level or same standard because if, if I put some very smart student in the class and some student is just very weak, yeah, the timing, the rhythm will be not so nice. So what I want to do for this class is I purposely open the class for those students who never pass their MF and then you wish to, to pass and then you wish to not to pass only, you wish to score A or at least you score B then you are welcome to join my class. And then the second criteria is you, you make sure you are the independent student because you can find out in my class, most of the time you are doing the practice. So the independent over here means what? Okay, once, once you are doing the practice, because uh, when you face the question you cannot do, then you will raise up your hand and then I will go to your table and guide you on that questions. But at the same time, after I guide you, but another student might have problem, then I will go to another student. So you can imagine, so there's, there's about 10 to 12 students in my class. Maximum, I think it's 12 students. So while I'm teaching other students, I, I want you to independent enough to like skip those questions you cannot do first and then move on to the next question to continue do. It's not sitting there and wait me until I come. If not, you're just playing your phone or just wasting your time. Yeah, so I want to make sure you are independent. So once you face the question you cannot do and I'm still teaching other students, then you just move on to the next question first. Okay, and then the last part is the most important part is trust me. 
Okay, because trust me over here is like because I know this subject very well and then I also know like how to score these subjects because I help so many students from fail to A uh, in my class and also in, even in my YouTube channel. So trust me over here actually including few few points over here. The first first thing is I hope you you when you come here you're willing to learn. You don't reject the knowledge I deliver to you. And then another point is you must have the confidence. You, you are able to competency, mean you are able to handle this subject. Because in, in like this five to seven years, actually I help a lot of students get score A. But at the same time, I still have some students who, who like just pass and like can't even get credit. So, and then I find out one very important uh, re reason why they cannot score is like, if you keep on thinking, I impossible to do well in MF, I impossible to answer this question, I impossible to, to, to like understand certain topic or certain part of the things. And whenever I teach you, you just tell me, don't waste time, there's no way I can understand or whatsoever. So, so, so if you have this kind of negative attitude, it's very hard for me to deliver my knowledge to you. So willing to learn play a very important role here because if you're willing to learn, I can accept students like you, you get single digit in your MF, just five mark or three mark in your MF exam. But if you're willing to learn, I can slowly to deliver my knowledge to you. But sometimes you might find it so hard to understand or so hard to absorb it. Then you let me know, I will try another methods to deliver my knowledge to you. But you don't give up on yourself because if you are give up and then you, you have the negative attitudes, which is very hard for me to actually like make you improve. Another thing is like, I will ask you to go back home to try like few questions and then you have to make sure you go back home, you, want, you must try those questions because we have so limited time. I only meet you once a week, but I want to help you from fails to A. It's, it's, not, it's not a mission impossible, but it's, it's not an e easy task also. So at the same time, I mean, you have to collaborate with me. I will not like ask you to do so many questions because I also understand you have so many homework you actually you need to do, but at least a few questions I ask you to do, you must do. Then I can, I can have uh, very, I can have very confidence to say that I can help you from fails to A if you trust me. Okay, and then the last part is about fee. Okay, my class is actually not cheap. I can say it's quite expensive because actually I charge fifty ringgit per class. I believe some tuition center actually charge fifty ringgit per month. So you just imagine if if that month have four weeks, so it will be four classes, so it will be 200 per month. So it's a very important, uh, it's a very expensive, so it's very important to know that you come here, you, do, you don't waste your parent money because it's not cheap, but if you can come here, I actually, I can finish like, I can use like eight months to finish all the form four, form five topics, and then I will use the two months to actually we will go through, I will give you a do pass year paper and then at the same time we will do the module paper. And, and yes, so since I also like charge like quite expensive, so I will do my best to actually really help you from fails to A. If you can't get A, at least I will make sure you get B. But I think fail to A is possible because I did it many times. And then what I will do in my class is, for the lecturings, I will use the camera, like the camera you are, you are watching right now, to actually record down the, my lecturing, and then I will post to my YouTube channel. So just in case you are those students who tend to forget things very fast, then you actually, you can recap what I teach in the class by rewatch the video in my YouTube channel. And then if you want the link, definitely I can share, share you the link. Yes, I will post like all my lecturing class in the YouTube channel. I hope at the same time I can help the other students as well. And then yes, so I think the main reasons you come here is because you can ask me the questions. 
because in MF, I, I would say some things like uh, in order to like score A or A1 or A plus in MF is like it's the process you from those questions you do not understand to understand those questions. What do I mean? It's like if today you have 10 questions you cannot understand and you're trying to understand five questions today and another five questions next week, then you already understand these 10 questions. When I say understand being you really know how to do, even they change the number, change the name, you still know how, how to do. So like if you can like understand as many questions as possible, which you not understand before, then you can score well in MF. Right, so I guess that's all for this video. And then I will share the I will share my address uh, for this Cheras and also I teach in PJ. Okay, I will share both of the address in my uh, you, in my video, which is the description below. Yeah, you can check it out. And then for Chiras one, now I actually preset on Thursday. But the time is about 4 to 6 or 8 to 10. I haven't set the time yet. So if you are interested, make sure you PM me in my Facebook page. You just search Y equals to MS plus C Facebook page and then you can PM me over there. Okay, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.